the use of technology seems to be changing and growing by the day. That's true as it applies to its use in wildlife management, as the occasional hunter finds out if they've harvested a big game animal or game bird wearing one of these. Radio collars provide wildlife biologists with substantial data on animals' long-range movements on the landscape. It's certainly not illegal to harvest a radio collared animal, but the Wyoming Game and Fish Department is asking that hunters who find or harvest an animal with a radio collar or transmitter on it to return it as soon as possible to any Game and Fish office or employee. Throughout Wyoming, people may come across collared big game animals like moose, mule deer, pronghorn, bighorn sheep, or elk. Even some birds have been marked with radio telemetry devices, as have trophy game animals including black bears, grizzly bears, mountain lions, and wolves. Sometimes animals that were collared or radio tagged in other states or by other agencies turn up in Wyoming as well. And gaining insight into the travels of the animal allows managers to better understand their long-range movement patterns on the landscape. Again, it's not illegal to harvest a radio collared animal. Game and Fish simply asks that the collar be removed without cutting or damaging the band or radio. The collars can be unbolted or slid off the neck of the animal. Cutting the band damages the electronic components that extend into the belt material. And that collar can't be used again until repairs are made. Then drop it off at your nearest Game & Fish office. Now, Some hunters passing through check stations this fall may have seen a few of these. Wildlife managers at check stations are using a mobile application to scan the QR code on a hunter's carcass coupon or hunting license. This speeds up the collection of harvest information like age, sex, antler measurements, and harvest location, and it gets hunters through a check station quicker. A reminder, regardless of hunter's success, all hunters are required to stop at a check station when traveling to or from their hunt area. Check stations are an opportunity for game and fish to collect other data, such as body fat and disease samples from harvested animals, and it also provides a chance for hunters to ask questions to game and fish personnel at the check station. This is Ray Hageman with the Wyoming Game and Fish Department.